America, all you see is the negative side. You believe exactly what they say about us all the time. Our kids are acting out what they see. They acting out what people have said. And so they're acting out these ways all the time. What happened to somebody being able to say to our kids, sit down, shut your mouth up, read a book, respect your elders, pull your pants up, listen to yourself, speak with proper English. You ain't, ain't no bank, no bank, no, no, say word. I don't know what you're saying. Read a book. Read five, ten, fifteen, twenty. What happened to a time when we could be able to tell parents, listen, you have nobody's kids. I got my own kids. You had them, you raised them. Them your baby. I, I, I just want to go out. No, that, you lost that privilege a long time ago. You had them, you raised them. Don't be trying to turn it up with your babies at home. No, they're going to be robbing me later. Go home, raise your kids. Go home, be with your kids. Go read a book to them so they can learn how to read. And so when my daughter got to have somebody later on in life, they can find somebody to pick. No, go sit down somewhere. somebody convinced us yeah. that we don't see the vision for ourselves. The reason why they talk to us crazy. I'll never forget my fifth grade teacher. I promise I'm done. No, get home. I'll never forget my fifth grade teacher, Miss King. She was a short black lady about this tall. She had, she had them wide hips. And she was having southern hips, boy. And Miss King would walk down the middle of the aisle hitting everybody with them hips. <laughs> Well, she thought you weren't paying no attention. She smacked you on them hips. Boom! Yes, Miss King. Yes, Miss King. Yes, Miss King. Yes, Miss King. And one day she came up to me and she said, I want to do the best in my work. And she said to me, she said, Everett, because we about the same height at that time. <laughs> she said, Everett, you will learn to do better because I expect you to do better. You will sit at the front of the class because you're supposed to be at the front of the class. And I used to wonder, I'm like, did she tell everybody that same speech? Because <laughs> if everybody was in front of the class, there wouldn't be no room, right? <laughs> but she never let me forget right. who I was supposed to be. Amen. Amen. Right? Amen. Every time you see one of these little people around here, Amen. you need to remind them, this is who you're supposed Amen. to be. Amen. You see some of these young girls running after crazy, you tell them, come here. That's right. This is who you're supposed to be. Come on, lad. Come on, lad. Mm -hmm. right, you see some of these young adolescents, you tell them, hey, come here. This is who you're supposed to be. And some of y'all young ones need to get bold, too. You see when them old ones acting out, you tell them, hey, come here. <laughs> get your wig together.
here because I want to teach y'all something else in that text. That set my soul to fire when I read it. About how God wants us to set folks free. And how we are to be reactive when God sets us free. Amen? Amen. 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 If you're here today, 